Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. On the stage of global technological competition, the game between China and the United States has always been the focus of the spotlight. As the smoke of the trade war fills the air, the competition in the field of science and technology has reached an unprecedented intensity. Relying on its long-term accumulated technological advantages, the United States attempts to curb the development of China's high-tech enterprises through a series of means, among which the containment of the semiconductor industry is particularly significant. Lithography machines, as core equipment in semiconductor manufacturing, have high technical barriers and difficult research and development, and have naturally become the focus of care for the United States and its allies. However, under this heavy blockade, the news that China announced that it had independently developed the 28 nanometer lithography machine not only shocked the global science and technology community, but also triggered a strong response in American forums. How dare China? What is reflected behind it is a deep incomprehension and unwillingness towards China's ability to be independent in science and technology. For a long time, China's development in the high-tech field has always been accompanied by external pressure. From the ZT incident to the extreme pressure on Huawei, every challenge has profoundly revealed China's shortcomings in core technologies. Faced with this situation, China did not choose to surrender, but firmly embarked on the road of technological independence. The independent research and development of lithography machines is one of the important results of this strategic deployment. The successful development of 28 nanometers lithography machine marks a solid step China has taken in the field of semiconductor manufacturing. Although there is still a gap compared with the world's most advanced 5 nanometer and 3 nanometer technologies, this is undoubtedly a huge encouragement for China, which is still in the catching up stage. It proves that, in an extremely unfavorable external environment, China is still capable of breaking through technological blockades through independent innovation and achieving independent control of key technologies. The research and development process of lithography machines is a concentrated display of China's scientific and technological innovation strength. This process is full of challenges and hardships, requiring in-depth cross-disciplinary and cross-field cooperation, as well as the day and night efforts of countless scientific researchers. China's achievement is inseparable from the country's high priority and continuous investment in scientific and technological innovation, and it is also inseparable from the innovative spirit and tenacity of scientific researchers. From following to running alongside, and even possibly taking the lead in the future, the research and development path of China's lithography machines is the epitome of the transformation of China's scientific and technological innovation model. In the past, China relied more on introduction, digestion, absorption, and re-innovation. Now, China is gradually establishing a technological innovation system with enterprises as the main body, market-oriented and deep integration of industry, academia and research. This transformation has provided strong support for China to achieve breakthroughs in more high-tech fields. It is worth noting that the successful development of China's lithography machines is not an isolated incident, but the result of global scientific and technological cooperation and exchanges. Despite facing external blockade, 
China has not closed the door to foreign cooperation. On the contrary, China has participated more actively in international scientific and technological cooperation, shared scientific and technological achievements with other countries in the world, and jointly promoted scientific and technological progress. In today's increasingly globalized world, no country can remain immune. Competition in the field of science and technology should be a coexistence of cooperation and competition rather than a zero-sum game. The successful research and development of China's lithography machines has not only improved its own scientific and technological strength, but also injected new vitality into the development of the global semiconductor industry. It shows the world China's openness and cooperation and its beautiful vision of jointly building a community with a shared future for mankind. Of course, the development of China's lithography machines has not been smooth sailing. As technology continues to advance, the demand for higher precision and higher efficiency lithography machines will grow. How to continue to make breakthroughs on the existing basis and achieve independent control of more advanced technologies will be a major challenge for China. At the same time, changes in the international environment have also brought new opportunities for China's scientific and technological independence. On the one hand, the intensification of global technological competition will prompt more countries to seek opportunities to cooperate with China. On the other hand, the international community's attention to issues such as technological ethics and data security will also provide China with opportunities to establish standards and lead rules in related fields. Opportunity The successful research and development of China's lithography machine is an important milestone on the road to China's scientific and technological independence. It not only demonstrates China's firm determination and strong strength in scientific and technological innovation, but also provides new opportunities for global scientific and technological cooperation and exchanges. Facing the future, China will continue to uphold an open and cooperative attitude, jointly respond to challenges and share opportunities with other countries in the world, and promote the continuous development of global science and technology. How dare China? This question, perhaps in the near future, will no longer be a question, but an affirmative answer, because China has the ability and the confidence.